and welcome to Studio 2. I'm Hannah Miller. And I'm Cameron Fox. This is our last show of the year and we've got a lot in store for you. We'll fill you in with the latest top headlines, this week's world of athletics and least sports, as well as a look at the weather. But before we get into all of that, let's take a look at the year in review here at Lee University. Up first for the year in review is the opening of the new nursing building. During the fall semester, this 41,000 square foot facility opened its doors on the first day of classes. Although the nursing program has only been in existence for about two years, it has experienced exponential growth. This spurred the university officials to build a brand new building to help nursing students acquire all the materials they need to succeed. The new building features a 170 seat lecture hall, computerized labs, and classrooms that simulate various healthcare settings. In May, the first ever Lee University nursing students will be graduating from the program. The goal is to have 100 students graduate from this program every year. There is nothing like celebrating, especially at graduations. Speaking of celebrating, every two years, Lee University hosts a celebration, and it's an opportunity to reflect on changes that have happened around campus and to look ahead onto the future. On September 30th, students and alumni were treated to seminars from experts across various disciplines. Highlights from these events include presentations from Jordan Smith, the winner of the hit TV show, The Voice, and worship leader Micah Massey, Tennessee Commissioner of Education Candace McQueen, and of course sound designer Ben Burt, famous for his work on Star Wars and Pixar films. Lee is not just known for their alumni, but also for their concerts. This year was no different. The Planet Shakers worship band kicked us off last year at the preset to fall convocation. In this semester alone, Elevation Worship, Lauren Daigle, and Bethel Worship have all played on our campus. The Presidential Concert Series also provided a parade of good music and highlights, including pianist Ilya Yakushev, choral group Chanticleer, the Lee University Symphony Orchestra, and legendary jazz bassist John Patitucci. Rounding out our year in review is the Lee University Film Festival. The cinematography department is growing in a vibrant community of aspiring filmmakers. Every year, the bar gets raised higher as the quality of work continues to climb. This event is an opportunity for young writers and directors to showcase their work on a big screen. On February 24th, current and former students competed for top honors in the festival. The award for best short film went to The Remembering, directed by Axel Arzola, and People's Choice Award went to Gray Area, directed by Carter Music. That just about wraps it up for this 2016-2017 school year here at Lee. Now let's bring on summer 2017. I don't know about you, but I'm always thrilled to jump into summer. Summer's a carefree time where you have the freedom to do whatever you want and not have to stress about school the next day. With so many things to do during the summer, we thought here at Studio 2, we would go out and ask Lee students and faculty what they're doing for their summer. Hi, my name is Sarah uh, Mosier, and I'm getting married this summer. And then my fiance is probably going to join the Air Force and will probably move to Colorado. And then I'll pursue my master's in Denver um, in the spring. Uh, I'm Dave, and for the summer I'll be working at Camp Highland. It's a Christian camp in Georgia. So yeah, I'll be a camp counselor there. It's going to be pretty lit. Hey, my name is Adam Nyes, uh, and this summer I'm really looking forward to going on a big trip with my wife. We're going to Barcelona and Paris. So if you've never been, we're really excited to go. Hi, I'm Heather, and I'm going to Thailand for my cross-culture trip this summer. I'm really excited to go. I'm an elementary education major, and I can't wait to pet some tigers. I'm Derek, and uh, this summer I'm going to be making some mean pizzas down at Pizza Plus. I'm going to be making dough and making dough. My name is Phil, and what I'm doing for summer break is working. Hi, my name is Isaac Barrick. And I'm Libby Hennon. And we're in the Lee Singers, and we have the opportunity to go to Africa this summer. So yeah, all 50 of us will be going to South Africa for 15 days. Hey, I'm Bree Stone, and I'm babysitting this summer. It's real fun. My name is Paul Gardner, and I'm going to Hilton Head for two weeks for my summer break. Hi, my name is Logan, and I'll be going on tour this summer. So don't have a lot of free time. Hey, I'm Lee Waller and I really have no idea what I'm doing this summer. We have teen talent coming through from the Church of God. We're going to spend a week doing that and I've got an 11 year old son who wants a $125 pair of tennis shoes and a 14 year old daughter that wants to go to Japan. So I may go crazy. Hi, my name's Isaac and I'll be here for summer classes and just playing basketball for the university. Hello, my name is Jonathan Mann and uh, this summer I'm going to be working at GameStop. <laughs> Sounds like everyone's made big plans for the summer. 
Stay with us because coming up next, we will have an interview with a graduating senior and an interview with Lee University's own Professor Kevin Brown. Hey, my name is Sam Kidwell and I'm the campus pastor of the Net Cleveland campus here in Cleveland, Tennessee and would love for you to come check us out. We are a church for people who just don't go or don't like to go or that you've been hurt or burned by the church and we would love for you to come check us out. So we have incredible worship. We have relevant messages that you can live out on Monday morning. We also love empowering people to live out the dream that God has placed within them. And we would love for you to come check us out every Sunday, 9.30 and 11 at Bradley Square Mall. Hope to see you there. Want to see me make your coffee? <laughs> well, of course you do. Bond Life Coffee Shop, located on Inman Street, not to be mistaken with subpart Inman Street Coffee House, will satisfy your raging craving for caffeine. You can channel your inner hipster while listening to Boney Bear sing about his skinny love quietly in the background. It's always BYOB, bring your own Bible, at Bond Life Coffee Shop, because nothing says quiet time with God like going to an overcrowded coffee shop. So don't forget to take the perfect gram for the lamb of your coffee, journal, and highlighted verse. Bond Life Coffee, we're better than Inman. Forge Young Adult Ministry is geared towards college, university, and working young adult professionals. Forge Young Adult Ministry aspires to change and shape this millennial generation through worshiping together, engaging in intentional community, and sharing the love of God with others. Come join us here at Forge Young Adult Ministry, a place to belong. with a meaning. Welcome to an exclusive look inside the world of Lee University's digital media program, where students are trained in a professional environment to master the tools necessary for success in their future fields. Through a rich classroom experience and hands-on learning with industry standard equipment, we guarantee our program will give you the confidence you need to pursue your dream career. Sound interesting? Set up an appointment with your advisor to make the switch to digital media studies. We'll see you in the studio. Welcome back to Studio 2. Now let's get on with all the exciting news we have for you today. Sometimes it can be hard to imagine what four years will look like here at Lee University. That is why we have Cameron Fox interviewing Christopher Denner, a graduating senior, to hear what his four-year journey looked like. Off to you, Cameron. Thanks, Hannah. I've got graduating senior Chris Daner here with me today. Chris, good to have you. Good to be here. And I got to say, I've I've witnessed curated and paint as well as Flora Nova, and I'm a big fan of your work. Mm, thank you so much. So tell me, what brought you here to Lee University? Uh, I mean, several things. You know, I used to come here as a kid a lot, um, but it really kind of solidified when I came for summer honors. Um, I came for two years and just met so many people and had great experiences and the feel of the campus was just something I wanted to be a part of. Okay, so now what attracted you specifically to digital media? Um, I started out in music and it wasn't what I was supposed to do. I, I wasn't supposed to do that. Um, but uh, I realized that I had passions and gifts in digital media and specifically in filmmaking that I wanted to pursue. Okay, is that your passion, filmmaking? Uh, so far, yeah. Right. <laughs> something in it at least. I want now, to tell be me about that, that, uh, that passion. Um, I just, I, I enjoy what happens when you, um, when you see a story on the screen and it uh, resonates with you emotionally. I think that there's um, no comparison to me um, as to what I get out of, what fulfillment I get out of that process. Wonderful, so. wonderful. What's your next project? Uh, my next project is, uh, actually I'm still working on Flora Nova. We're trying to get it to film festivals this fall. So. Wow, okay. Yeah. Well, I sure hope to see it there. And it's been great to have you on the right, show. Thanks. It's been great to know you for four years, and I hope <laughs> that the future is full of new experiences, new opportunities. Thanks, man. So that about wraps it up here. Um, we'll head back to Hannah at the desk. Hannah? Thanks, Cameron. Let's venture over to some exciting news in our English department. Kevin Brown is an English professor here at Lee and has begun his works in writing a new book called Bring the Kingdom, Progressive Reflections on Scripture. He has also written five other books, which include We Are Lucky People, A Lexicon of Lost Words, Holy Days, Another Way, and They Love to Tell the Story. 
Writing books can be an interesting journey. Let's take a look at what Kevin Brown has to say about his new book and the process of writing. No, no, no. Uh, I'll tell this story. When I was a sophomore in college, I turned in a paper on W.E.B. Du Bois, and I knew nothing at all about him. I signed up for a slot. I procrastinated. I just had to choose something, and so I chose him. I turned in my paper. The uh, professor sent me a note and said to come and see her, so I did, and I walked in, and she handed the paper out to me, and she said, Kevin, what is this? And I said, as many students have before me and will after me, I don't know. And she gave it back to me and let me revise it. I did. And then I got it back with my grade and I pulled it all the way up to a D. I didn't think I was going to do it for a long time. In fact, the first book I wrote, the scholarly book, when I wrote the acknowledgments, a friend of mine read them and said, you write this like you're never going to write another book in this world. And I said, well, I didn't think I would write one to begin with. So I'm happy just that I had the chance to write one. Well, right now it's titled, Bringing the Kingdom, Progressive Reflections on Scripture. So we were reading a book in our Sunday school class. It was very short chapters, just four pages each time, and just reflections over one or two passages of Scripture. And I really liked it, but he just kept not going far enough for me. And I just wasn't happy with that. So I thought, well, somebody needs to write one that goes a little further. So I wanted one that dealt with issues of social justice and race and gender and class and talked about those issues just very explicitly in a way that I don't think the church does as often as it should. Sounds like it's going to be an amazing book. If you want to buy any of Kevin Brown's books, please visit kevinbrownwrites.com. There is still a lot going on here at Lee University, so stick around because after this commercial break, we will have more news with the Lee Lowdown. What's up, Lee students? Have you heard about the Career and Graduate School Fair? It's a recruiting event where churches and companies of many fields send representatives to discuss different programs, internships, and employment opportunities with graduate students. Their experience is very interactive, allowing students to inquire about any information that they might need or find helpful. The Career and Graduate School Fair will be held Wednesday, March 23rd from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. in the Centenary Room at the Higginbotham Administration Room. Don't miss out. Your future is waiting. an exclusive look inside the world of Lee University's digital media program, where students are trained in a professional environment to master the tools necessary for success in their future fields. Through a rich classroom experience and hands-on learning with industry standard equipment, we guarantee our program will give you the confidence you need to pursue your dream career. Sound interesting? Set up an appointment with your advisor to make the switch to digital media studies. We'll see you in the studio. Welcome back to Studio 2. I'm Cameron Fox. 
And I'm Hannah Miller. Here at Lee University, the student body is full of very talented people. Everything from preaching, producing, playing instruments, and more. Lee University has many different types of choirs and bands that make up the music department. This past week, the student body had the pleasure of seeing all the bands and choirs come together for a live recording known as Prism Retreat Concert. Here's a recap of the event. Lee has a lot to offer in the music department, but another department that's finally coming out of the woodworks is the Lee community is digital media. Digital media has become the largest major at Lee and has flourished in its academics. That's why the academics department and media services have come together to showcase the talents of both the professors and the students. A new short film called Lawn has been produced by the students and faculty. We met up with the producer of the film, Dr. Jeff Salyer, to talk about how this short film helped students grow and enhance the department. Let's take a look. My name is Jeff Salyer. I am the Director of Media Services at Lee University. I'm also an Assistant Professor of Communication, teaching uh, cinema and television, so in the digital media uh, faculty. I also was the producer of Lawn. So my role in this was uh, multifaceted. Shot over the course of five days and I kind of managed um, the scheduling and who was supposed to be where and the locations and that kind of thing and mainly just manage the crew. We try to combine our crews with professional, outside professionals who are doing this as their full-time job. Alums who are both professionals or are in a role where they can help with the project and that's kind of their role as they do in their jobs now. So a lot of our outside professionals are alums. And then also we use faculty and staff on everything and we use students. So we try to create this nice cohesive unit of professionals and students in order to give really good experiences for the students, the kind of a learning, teaching uh, set, as well as creating a really good product based on the professional abilities of the people around them. Whenever you get students on a real set, and we treat our sets like a real set like you would find in any kind of Hollywood or Atlanta production, uh, anytime you do that and you give students experience uh, working with professionals side by side and when the students finish the set they often say that was one of the best uh, experiences I've ever had in film or that's one of the best experiences I've had with the hands-on outside of the classroom experiences. That is it for the Lee Lowdown. We'll be back with Cameron Fox to talk about sports, weather, and being involved in the community, so stay tuned. 
Welcome to an exclusive look inside the world of Lee University's digital media program, where students are trained in a professional environment to master the tools necessary for success in their future fields. Through a rich classroom experience and hands-on learning with industry standard equipment, we guarantee our program will give you the confidence you need to pursue your dream career. Sound interesting? Set up an appointment with your advisor to make the switch to digital media studies. We'll see you in the studio. Hey, my name is Sam Kidwell, and I'm the campus pastor of the Net Cleveland campus here in Cleveland, Tennessee, and would love for you to come check us out. We are a church for people who just don't go or don't like to go or that you've been hurt or burned by the church, and we would love for you to come check us out. So we have incredible worship. We have relevant messages that you can live out on Monday morning. We also love empowering people to live out the dream that God has placed within them. And we would love for you to come check us out every Sunday, 9, 30, and 11 at Bradley Square Mall. Hope to see you there. with a meaning. Welcome back to Studio Two, I'm Cameron Fox. Lee University has recently made the switch to Division Two of the NCAA. With that switch, the athletic teams across campus have come up against some tough competitors, and this weekend was no different. Both the Flames baseball team and the Lady Flames softball team had big games that decided their future in the Gulf South Conference standings for the tournament. Flames baseball ran into a wall against Mississippi College Choctaws. Game one of the three-game series had the Flames losing one to 12. Game two was no different with the Flames losing again to the Choctaws with a score of two to six. The final game of the series, the Flames battled together to get some revenge and were able to pull off an incredible six to five win with a walk-off home run in the bottom of the ninth inning. The Flames are out of the GSC tournament as of now and would need a miracle to get back out, but who knows, anything's possible. Lady Flames softball had a similar weekend with one game getting canceled due to the rain, but the next game, the Lady Flames lost to the Lady Choctaws of Mississippi College with a score of 0-10. The Lady Flames did not want to be kicked out of the conference, so they rallied together to defeat the Lady Choctaws with a score of 1-0. The Lady Flames still have a big game ahead of them, so they will need to stick together and win the series to have a chance to be in the GSC Conference Tournament. Both teams have worked so hard all season and will continue to battle out until the last pitch. That's all we have for sports today. Let's get back to Hannah Miller to tell us about helping out the less fortunate. Hannah? Thanks, Cameron. Here at Lee, we are taught to be more like Christ and serve in our community. One of our Studio 2 staff decided he would take the initiative and do just that. He visited his local food bank and met with the director to talk about their program. Let's take a look. My name is Mike Thomas. I'm one of the executive pastors here at the Torch Worship Center. I think one of my titles uh, is uh, Outreach Pastor, uh, Missions. And so I have the pleasure of being able to, to work with all the great people here, all of our dream team here at the Torch. We do a, a lot of outreaches here. One is our food ministry. That's one of our largest uh, ministries that we have. Last year we gave over 1.1 million pounds of food away and every pound of that was given away by volunteers. 
And so God has just blessed us, number one, to be able to get that amount of food to give away, uh, but to be able to provide us with the, the resources and things to be able to take care of that. But we reach thousands and thousands of families uh, with food. And we've got a lot of testimonies back that, that you know, it, was a, it, it got them through rough times. And that's what we want to do is be able to be that hands and feet. But at that same point, we want to be able to, everything we do, want to lead people to Jesus. We also were doing our mobile pantry here where we were hitting 400 families, but it was once a month. And people had to drive here. And we did a church service, both, both in English and Spanish. And, and it just exploded and, and God really blessed us with souls being saved and lives being changed. And that was great, but, but God just impressed on me there that okay, there's, there's people out there right now that, that may not be able to drive here once a month and get food. How can we provide food? Well, we just started praying about it and, and, and uh, we knew God wanted us to do that. Well, he, he supplied the, the, the situation. A, a, a building came open, downtown Cornelia. And we have a walk-in pantry there with a walk-in cooler and freezers. And this is where between this is where we've been able to move a million, over a million pounds of food this last year. Because instead of 50 a, uh, 50 a month that we were doing, now we're doing uh, 150 uh, in a week. And, and so, it, you know, we're looking at 3,000 people in a month that we're, we're ministering to there. But it is ran completely by volunteers. We probably have uh, 65, 75 volunteers that, that run our food pantry. But it just, it never ceases to amaze me how God provides um, for what He wants done. We are nearing the end of the semester as well as the end of this broadcast, but before we go, let's meet up with Cameron one last time to see what the weather will be like for the next couple of days. Thanks, Anna. Here at Lee University, we've had some crazy weather, seen sunny days mixed with hail and those days that it never stops raining as well. This week, however, is pretty normal. Today will be a high of 73 and a low of 51. Tuesday will have cloudy skies with 78 and a low of 54. After that, Wednesday we'll see a high of 82 and a low of 59. Thursday we'll have highs of 68 and a low of 52. It'll cool off Friday with a high of 63 and a low of 52 again. As you can see, this week is full of crazy weather, but there are also other crazy things happening. Motions will be high uh, for all the people going back home or on vacation, but also for all the graduating seniors. As the end of the week approaches, so to graduation, where the class of 2017 uh, will take on the world. Before we go, we just want to take a second and thank Cameron for helping us out, not only as a host in this show, but also as our lab instructor and friend. We here at Studio 2 know that Cameron will do great things, and we will be cheering for him as he walks across the stage in the end of this week. So we will miss you. So signing off one last time, I'm Hannah Miller. And I'm Cameron Fox, and this is Studio 2. Enjoy your summer break. <laughs>